Hi guys, this is my uh, final reveal video clip for the uh, the Avro Vulcan bomber in 70 second scale. As you can see, she's now finished. Um, what a build this was. This was uh, a complete mixture of absolute tedious sanding and fill filling and oh god it was a nightmare. But the end result is actually really nice. Um, yeah, I uh, am taken aback by it. The kit is actually, um, it's really big. <laughs> it's its so big I'm having to use my uh, camera on, this, on the smallest setting so I can get the thing inside the actual, um, inside the actual picture for you. The aircraft itself is painted up in all humbral colours. The underside was um, light gull grey. The top coat was medium sea green over uh, an extra dark sea, uh, extra dark um, olive drab, um, and I think it's come out reasonably well. Um, if I can turn, it's difficult to know where to get hold of it. If I can turn the aircraft over slightly for you, can you see it there? The camo pattern is actually it's come out really nice. I'm quite impressed with the way the camo pattern came out actually on this kit. Um, and the actual forward section of the nose bay there, where around the cockpit is um, the decals have just set the kit off completely. Um, if I can turn, if I can turn the canopy towards you, with a bit of luck, you'll be able to see the, um, the canopy framed. I actually managed to frame this canopy perfectly, um, even with a brush. It's, uh, it's really nice. If I can get this to come into focus a little bit more for you, and then perhaps you'll be able to see what I mean, but the actual canopy itself is really, really tasty. Um, <clears throat> the kit has fit issues. Um, there are an awful lot of filling of the airframe to do. Um, yeah, an awful lot of filling. Um, I also had to send away for a, a, an access door because one of the parts was missing out of the kit. I don't know what happened to it, but it just wasn't there. The access door cover wasn't there at all. Um, if I can turn the aircraft upside down so you can see the colour scheme underneath. It's light grey underneath. Um, if I can pull the camera back a little bit. It's not easy for you to see it actually, but which is a shame. <laughs> not easy for you to see it at all. Which is a real shame. See if I can get this a little bit further away. That's the actual colour scheme of the aircraft. There's the under ladder, the, the ladder underneath, all the wheel bays. Uh, the, sen the sections at the back where the engine pipes come out, they're, they're done in Tamiya chrome silver. Um, there's quite a lot of avionics which I've had to touch in from. I mean, these two dark spots here, they're actually on the real aircraft, they're on XH558. And I did XH558 for a reason because I wanted to include on the um, on the final reveal video the uh, the build progress pictures and also a little bit of history on XH558 as well because the aircraft is probably of all the Vulcans made it had some very interesting um, history behind it. Um, let's see if I can get that to come out. That's a bit better, isn't it? There we go. So, I can't pop this up to get better images of it, which is a shame. I really wanted to show this kit in all its splendour. Um, I wonder if I, can, if I can put the kit on the deck. Put the kit onto a flat surface. Take this out. Uh, I know this is really unprofessional, lads, but I'm going to try and give you a walk around of the kit so you can see it. The kit itself is about three foot span, um, and it's about three foot long. <laughs> the aircraft is quite is quite regimental in its dimensions. It sits about I'd say about four and four and a half inches off the ground at the top of the tail. Uh, I'll just show you the underside of the aircraft, so you can see, there we go, that's the underside of the aircraft. And you can see all the avionics um, sections there, there's quite a lot of decals, if I can come in, there's quite a lot of decals which uh, 
Oronics H558 aircraft model, but there are quite a few avionics decals and avionics patches that aren't on the kit that they don't tell you what to do with them, which is a shame. For instance, um, if I can get close in, there's quite a lot of these little no hooks. Um, I don't quite know what they're for actually, but they're yellow in colour. Um, and they're, they're all over the, the aircraft control surfaces. And there's no walking steps here all over the aircraft as well. The roundels are straight out of the kit, which was nice. Um, but there are a few roundels which I had, uh, sorry, there are a few markings on the kit which I had to use from an old boxing of the Vulcan that I actually acquired uh, the decals from. Um, and I used quite a few of those as well. But the kit is all nice and finished. Um, I'm very pleased with the result. I'm really pleased with the result. The actual kit itself looks it looks amazing. I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, the aircraft is in the livery of number nine squadron, where she served with for a number of years in the 70s in the SRMRR role, uh, before being converted into a tanker. But all that information is actually on the video, which you'll see later as well. So that's the uh, that's the Vulcan in her splendour. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video as, as much as I did building the kit and I hope you enjoy the build progress clips that are coming up after this. I'll see you for the next one guys. Thanks very much for watching and happy modelling and all the best. Bye bye.